Okay. All right. My name is um, Francis Asari Amegavi. Uh, Deacon Francis Asari Amegavi. Um, currently, I'm based in Tamale. I work there. But then, um, the Lord has given, revealed something concerning um, our brother, our brother Achu's um, incidents. And then uh, he has directed me to, or asked me to come and give this message to the family and also um, pass it on to the whole nation, Ghana. So that was Monday 20th of this month, in the dawn, as I was having my quiet time and the Lord just said, Achu must not go back to the grief. And I asked the Lord why, and he said, Achu is coming back, is coming from the earth already, so he must not go back to the grave. And that we as Christians, um, the God that we believe in is the God that raises the dead. And it looks like people just give in like that and they just say rest in peace. Meanwhile, Christianity, the Christ, uh, Christianity is based on what? The resurrection of the dead. So he's saying that if we really love him, um, those of us who are crying, if we really love him, this is a time to wake up and actually unite and uh, come together and repent and ask for his glory. The Lord said we should fear him and give him glory. So he wants to show the righteousness or the uprightness of Achu and everyone. He said, um, Achu, here, what has happened, people might assign it to so many things. By the end of the day, he died or the thing happened in a Muslim country. And then the guy's name, Christian, alone speaks of something. And then the, what he's saying is that he wants to wipe our tears away. So as a nation uh, or as a globe, we need to know the message, uh, which is loving one another, the gospel, which is actually based on the resurrection of the dead. That he want to show us that our relationship is dead. The relationship between Muslims and Christians is dead. And that before him, he knows no Muslim, he knows no what? Uh, someone saying Christian. But he knows all of us as what? Children of God. And that he has found a ransom. In fact, he gave me this inspiration when uh, he led me to read the book of Job chapter 33. And then that's where he said he has found a ransom. And that um, he is our righteousness. And um, as one might think that holiness is all about um, this religious act. He is our righteousness. And that we should believe in him that raises the dead. So, so per the message, okay. is he directing us? to help him resurrect or what exactly is the message? Yes, so the, the message is that we should repent for he's not going to show us any sign apart from the sign of Jonah. So it's only a wicked generation that's sick for a sign. And that Achu is a sign. Achu's incident is a sign. And Achu is a gift, not to the, uh, his family alone, nor Ghana alone, but to the whole world. And it's a sign to show that he, the message he wants us to believe in is about the reconciliation of the body of Christ. Okay? And he gave me, before this, he gave me a revelation last year. And yesterday, um, 27th, happens to be exactly one year he gave me a message. And that, that message should be given to the uh, president of this country, who happens to be our father. And then the message is about the vengeance um, of the Lord coming upon those that do not know God and those that do not obey the gospel. I'm sorry to interject. Okay. Uh, let's take this one after the other. Okay. So the message according to the Lord okay. is actual will come back. To yes. So How is that going to be done? Yeah. yeah. So what he's saying, he said we should come together as a body of Christ. We should come together and uh, ask for his mercy. He said, if you want to sh see his glory, we should what? Believe him. So, we should come together. He said, his will in this is that 
He want to show his glory. And the glory is to direct us in reuniting or uniting, coming together as a body of Christ. That we don't love each other. The command, the message he wants us to preach is loving one another. And therefore, um, hatred is what is hindering our relationship. So he said our relationship with him is dead. It's dead. So if you, if you mean we should come together, are we coming together as a church or a Christian group to gather at a, a place, a particular place and then pray for him to resurrect? Or what is that you do? Yes, he said we should gather as a nation, as a nation um, and pray for his resurrection. The glory that he wants to show is his resurrection power and that um, he is able to do that if only we will repent. So what he will gain from this is repentance. And the way we see raising of the dead as difficult is not as difficult, but then conversions of souls is a miracle that is even greater than raising the dead. And the command to the church is to raise the dead, heal the sick, cleanse the, lep le uh, the lepers. And you realize that cleansing of the lepers is about skin disease. So what he's saying is that um, why, um, are, why the quarrel? Why are we accusing each other? Okay, why are we um, this and, um, putting blame on um, our, our brothers and sisters? It's because we ourselves, we don't understand the gospel. Is there a timeline to um, gathering to help resurrect our brother? Yes. Uh, is that timeline? No. Well, what he want is the message to um, be passed on and that um, the first man of the land, who is our father, President Nana Akufo Adu, um, should um, stand in and then um, let the body of Christ know his will concerning Achu's incident. So what, what, he, what he actually wants is we coming together and cry unto him. Um, it's a call for repentance and then he will show us uh, his glory. Okay. So how should it be done? Should we, must we go to the morgue, pick his body, bring it to a particular place, gather around it and pray to God for it to come back to life? Or how must we do it? Yes. When I got this revelation, I called a, a, a pastor and then that very day he also told me that he dreamed that Achu was laid in state. And then uh, we prayed, and then he saw a sign, a shake, like the, the leg shook. Then he prayed, um, and then all of a sudden, we were praying. Then all of a sudden, he turned into a baby. Okay. Um, and quickly, I told him the scripture I was actually um, reading, or the Lord asked me, led me to read. It, it's about Elihu speaking to what? Um, Job. In the book of Job chapter 33, from verse, I think, 20 downwards to 30 downwards, where the Lord is saying that he needs a messenger that will tell his people, um, who show man his uprightness, okay, that he is our righteousness. And, and then um, it is not about our holiness, but it's about his holiness. And then what he wants us to know is that the relationship we have, we have with him is dead. Okay, so... so when the brother told me that, and I just told him that that was a scripture I was reading, and the Lord spoke to me about um, he being able to raise a Jew from the dead, if only we come together as a nation and uh, we repent. Uh, have you spoken to the family about this? No, um, I, listen, I came here, uh, and then, um, I, I mean, that's why I'm here, but I, I came here... Is it three days ago or something? And then I, when I met one family member, I, I, did not, I did not ask of the name though, but then when I narrated a thing, yeah, he is of the view, it's like I've seen a sign of unbelief, um, but then not really a sign of unbelief, but he is trying to uh, know like you are asking, when, do, do, if, if the Lord is saying that Achu is not dead, where is Achu? Okay, uh -huh. so to me, what he has revealed to me is actually um, that if we come together as a nation 
and not as separate entities. Um, we come together, we pray for repentance, and uh, He's going to show us His glory, and that glory is raising Him at you from the dead. Looking at the situation now, yeah. we know um, the body of our brother was under the rumble for rumble for about 12 days. Okay. Yes, uh, it has been deposited at the mock and I know uh, by all means it has been embalmed with chemicals. Okay. How then can it come back? Okay. In the first place, um, let's, we eat kinky, we eat corn. The corn we eat. It goes down to this um, the the ground, okay. The corn the corn we eat is a fruit of uh, one corn going down the ground, and it dies. The new comes, new corn come. So if we don't know how food come from the ground, okay. If we don't know how food come from the ground, we shouldn't be surprised. As, uh, someone telling us that he, that he he doesn't know how this thing can come about. So what I'm, trying, what I'm trying to put across is that we, our own belief is all about not believing God, the God that raises the dead. I hope, I hope you're getting me. So if the food we are eating right now, they are fruits of some seeds that are sown into this, and then it tells you that there is power in even dead things. Now, he has been deposited in the morgue, but then they are preserving his body with chemicals do you know can anyone investigate to know the power in that chemical man he has given man knowledge of how to preserve body till um, the burial time is due now he the source of all knowledge says that the god that we christians or believers claim we serve is a god that raises what the dead so he he, 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 won't, he he does the impossible. I hope you are getting my point. So uh, I know, in fact, this has been a week that I, I came from Tamale to pass on the message. I'm also human. When he gave the message, it, it, it sounds impossible. So that even shows us that uh, no, one can claim he, no one can claim he has faith. I hope you are getting the whole thing. And faith comes by hearing. So it's like much of the hearing, things that we hear are things that scare us, put fear in us instead of faith. So what he's saying is that um, people are corrupting even children, that they don't know the God that we claim we serve. So he just wants to do our part. And our part is to give him the glory. And he will, he will, he will show us that he is the sovereign God who has power. And he said he is in all. He is in all. So it means that he is preserving this world. He is preserving anything that is serving us as humans. Are you an evangelist, a pastor, a prophet, or a preacher? I am a deacon. Okay. And then, what church? Um, what church well, I fellowship with Heart of Faith International Ministry in Tema. Are you the leader there? No, I'm just a deacon. What? And but then because of job. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm now in Tamale, and then uh, basically the Lord has shown the resurrection power to, uh, to myself and my wife, where my wife was in um, Kolibu ICU, uh, and then uh, he, he, she was with a baby, my, my our first daughter, and uh, we, we've been to uh, a private hospital, we were uh, moved to Tema General, then one doctor asked me that if I want my wife to survive, then I have to listen, move my wife to Kolibu. So what happened is that we, uh, we moved my wife to Kolibu and then we realized that the HB was very low to the point that they, they have to place support on her at the ICU. Uh -huh. And the thing is that they said there is pressure, too much pressure, and that they, they wanted to gain that kind of strength before. And if she gains strength, maybe they will take the baby out so that she will be free. In fact, the miracle that the Lord has done to us is that this baby came out whilst the mother was unconscious uh, at Kolibu. And then ever since, it has changed my perception about the God. So that was where, when it, it began, I began to search the God that we, we claim we serve. So I accepted an offer 
okay, uh, job offer just to set myself apart to know the Lord. And will, will you agree with people if they say you are just trying to ride on our brother's demise for food? The issue is that things of God, people will talk about it. You understand? And in fact, I, we, you need not to even blame people. The issue is that even when God reveals something to you, you yourself will question it. Do you understand? So, um, fame, whatever thing they can say, I, I don't care. But the issue is that I know, I know my relationship with God. And this is not the first time He has given me a message concerning um, the dead. I hope you are getting me. And I'm just a messenger. I don't need fame. If I need fame, I wouldn't even um, uh, come here. I can go to the media, even at Tamale, and do that. But he sent me directly to come here. So allow them to see. But only God will justify his word. Okay. In conclusion, yeah. uh, you are now going to see the family. Yes. In case the family listens to you, but they don't act upon what you are directing them to do. What is your next line of action? Okay. Um, my next line of action is to go back to my uh, consecration or my quiet um, place and ask the Lord. And I told you today is a, exactly a week that I, I came to Accra here. And as a message, I also received a message, but I, I have to know the will of God in it. Do you understand? If God wants to uh, raise the dead, he give, first gives you a witness in the spirit. Then he will also sh you need to find out his will concerning this. Do you understand? Everybody wants to gain from wh whatever business he or she is into. God also wants to gain. And uh, his gain is to have souls that will repent. So I also try to um, find out from the Lord, what is your will concerning this? And then he told me it's about um, reconciling the body of Christ. Okay? That he wants to bring life into our relationship. I hope you are getting it. So, I'm just a messenger. I'll go back and I'll still listen, um, be in fellowship with God. If, in case he reveals something as to how, as to how to actually tap into his resurrection power, okay, to bring back our brother. And I have to even come, even when, whether they lay him in state or he directs me to go to the morgue to do that, I will do that. But I receive lots of witnesses or signs that really he is interested in raising what? The dead. But now it's our, it's, he wants to know whether we are ready and we understand his gospel or his resurrection power. Aside um, this very revelation, have you ever had any other revelation that um, was accepted and um, it went after? Okay, yes, um, this is the third time he gave me a revelation concerning the dead. The first one, um, he asked me to come to my spiritual father, okay, at Heart of Faith International Ministry, and then I came from Tamale. Also, I got a revelation from when, uh, at Tamale, and I came down, and then, you know, he gave me a word of knowledge. The uh, is it cousin, one of the cousins also, niece also, died, my spiritual father, and then they planned that they will bury uh, him around 5th and 6th February last year, 2022. So, they, they, they told us that they will update us. But, unfortunately, they, they have not given us any update. And I was there, so I was in my quiet time. The Lord told me that I should call my spiritual father to ask of the date. So when I called him, that was when he gave me the revelation that he can raise the dead. And that our hearts are full of what? Graves, burying the dead. And so when he gave me the revelation, I asked of the date. And he said, oh, sorry, they didn't inform us that they have shifted the date to 25th or so. Uh -huh. So quickly, I came down to inform him. But then the direction was that we should pray the Friday. We should pray into the Saturday. Then after, after the prayer, we, we come together and pray. You know, he wants unity. He wants the togetherness. He, uh, he, he does not want one man to take the glory. Uh -huh. So he wants the togetherness. That togetherness. So he, he directed that we should pray. But unfortunately, when I came, it's like they were busy. Um, and that we couldn't, I couldn't get him. And later, when I told him, and he said, wow, he is, he's not in charge of that... Uh, funeral but i should tell listen so i went there and i told uh, i told them 
a thing and then they asked me to pray but actually that's not that's not what god revealed to me he just asked me that we should come together and pray and that he will, we will see his glory so when i got there and they said i should pray since i revealed i got the revelation uh, quickly um i said lord what should i do and he said i should read the book of romans chapter the book of roma so as i was reading the book of roma chapter one okay and then uh, the man of God in charge told me that they don't have time here and there. So my spiritual father said, I should just call him, just like Jesus called him, Lazarus, rise. So I called him, him and his name is Francis. So I called him, and, and there's an, um, but then we've not seen any manifestation, like the, he coming back to this. End. So later, we were at the funeral ground. Then all of a sudden, my spiritual father was sitting somewhere, and I was also sitting somewhere. But my spiritual father came to me and said, I've done my part. Okay, so he was writing some, something behind him. Then I stretched my hand and he wrote the care. Okay, and I came across that word in the scripture in the course of searching. And he said, What you are, you have, you, you are weighed in the balance and you are found what wanting, like you are lacking. So quickly I, I got to you and I said, This message is to me. It's like I didn't have that kind of courage to listen. So that was it. The second time he asked me to uh, go and pray for someone, I went. Uh, that's, I went to a sanctuary and I got to the place and I was relaxed it's like I didn't go then unfortunately the person what, passed pa 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 passed away so what happened is that uh, what I have sensed is that what I seek to know is the gospel and what he has revealed to me is that he said the gospel is that we if you are born again you are children of resurrection. So if you are children of resurrection, your work is to raise the dead. You understand? So just like a capital does furnitures. If we are children of the resurrection, then ours is to what? Raise the dead. I hope you are getting it. So I have not actually witnessed this, but then um, he only showed me in two dreams that in the dream, I was just praying in tongues. And then an aunt who has been De uh, my auntie, who has been declared dead, just got up from the dead. But that was in, the dream. in the dream. And then the second one was my grandmother that passed away. That um, she appeared to me in the uh, like uh, the funeral appeared to me in the dream. And I came from Tamale, and it's like they were going to close the casket. And I said they should wait. And I stretched forth my hand, okay. And this, and she also stretched forth her hand, okay. And she got so bad. Physically, I have never witnessed that. But then he received these two things in dream uh, to me before uh, giving me this assignment of going to tell um, people that are mourning that uh, we should come together and what ask for his mercy and repent, and he's going, he's able to raise the dead. So do you do you think um, this is the best time to experience the rising of the dead? And Yes, what this is the best time. What the Lord is saying is that I choose that all this and happen in a different country, and it's like a Muslim country. So what what is happening is that it is something of global concern, and that um, he wants to justify his sons. He wants to justify um, us that we are his righteousness, and nothing is impossible for him. So what he wants is that we should come together do you understand and that we should give him glory i hope you are getting it you are getting it so what he's saying is that he wants to get a glory first and that he will not give his glory to any man and that he can just tell me that go and pray for achu and achu will just rise but of what use of what benefit will it be to the god we are serving so what God wants, the will of God in this is about the reconciliation of the body of Christ and that he wants to shut every mouth because we are, we are, you see, there is that kind of uh, differences among us because of doctrine. And the doctrine he said we should obey is the doctrine of Christ, which is loving one another. Hatred is of Cain. Do you understand? So what he's saying is that you, you, cannot, be, you cannot be jealous of a brother's work or riches. And if riches will save us, riches actually is having money that can save him. So it's not about money. And that no one should think of making gain from this funeral. That if money can uh, this in, uh, actually raise at you, if money can save at you, 
they can pay even the whole can pay and one thing is that scientists can they they, are, they, 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 are, they don't have any cure for that for death now and death is our last enemy okay so what he's saying is this he wants to do the impossible but, but before he does the impossible it is when we come together and in unity and agree that we are sinners okay and if we want to uh, as an individual we want the lord to speak to us he said we have been speaking to him but we don't give him the time chance to speak to us so if you want god to speak to us we can take even the book of job seriously and that where he gave me the inspiration from is the book of job chapter 33 okay he said he has found his ransom so meditatively let us read the book of job because elihu represents the fourth friend that came to actually give a message he stood in his like the mediator between job and god so god was silent because job was saying things that is not true about god so what actually what I, one thing I, we want i want us to understand is this go and read the book of matthew chapter 28 even the verse 2 you realize that earthquakes happens when an angel of the lord descends so scientifically you can be you can say uh, earthquakes happen because one because of this and that but as children of god what causes earthquake you realize that he said when an angel of god descends earthquakes happen so, so you believe what happened in Turkey, which repeated uh, exactly a week again, is as a result of the arrival of an angel. Yeah, it's, show, it's a sign, okay? It's a sign to us. If an angel are, comes, and the scripture is saying, uh, whenever an angel comes down, there is an earthquake, and we believe the scripture, yes, that is it. As why, why would an angel arrive for thousands of souls to be lost if truly the angel is for us to you you say thousands of souls are lost do you understand to you you say thousands of souls are lost but before god is that true the issue is that he is not scared of you losing your life right now god is not scared we try to save our life i hope you are getting as humans and he said anyone who tries to save his life will lose his life i hope you are getting the whole thing so he is not scared for one to die he said, if you read the book of Hebrews chapter 2, he said, for the fear of death, we are in bondage. That's why Jesus came to give his life. And he said, he has laid down his life and this one has taken back his life. So he wants to prove to us that he is not scared for 50 million, 40,000 or people to die. But one thing is that if someone dies, do you, uh, that's the opportunity for you to even what acts of the will. I hope you are getting away. If any misfortune should happen to you, do you sit down as students of the Bible? Do you ask the Lord, what is your will in this? I hope you are getting my point. Okay, so uh, to us, it will not make sense to us that God will allow this number of people to die. But the issue is that if earthquake happen in Turkey, you think Ghana is not uh, decent, Ghana can be spared. You understand? You and I standing right now, if we are not doing the will of God, Okay, and uh, he, he said, okay, I'm fed up. I've given you enough grace to um, know me and you are not doing the will of God. He can, and this earth wants to swallow us. He can allow, yeah, and all of us will go down. So what I'm saying is, is about sharing. This is a revelation. I can keep it to myself. But then I know I'm following my master. I have good relationship with my master. Okay, so whatever he says, that's what I deliver. Okay, because it, 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 you know it's very difficult to say love your enemy. It's it's impossible. It's impossible. So he, his commands are always what impossible. But coming together and re, uh, repent, you, you realize that listen, it's not anything difficult for us. So I am a laboratory uh, technician. Oh yeah, I'm a laboratory technician. Um, that is it. Yeah. All right. Um, so, in conclusion, I okay. believe that once we are done with the direction, yes. our brother will come back. To yes. So the, di the, the the direction actually is we coming together as a nation and repent, repent, and expect um, him to um, uh, glorify himself. So if we can come together as a nation to 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 ask for repentance, to ask of his mercy, 
Remind you, if he said he's not going to show us any sign apart from the sign of Jonah, it was when Jonah came back to the senses and asked for mercy. He realized that all what we have been saying is just vanity, lying tongues. We forsake our own mercy in the book of Jonah chapter 2, 8 somewhere. You understand? So what he wants us to do is that we should accept as children of God that we have missed it. We have actually missed it. And we are allowing people to rot. I hope you are getting it. We are allowing people to go down the, 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 uh, the grief. I hope you are getting my point. So what he wants is unity. Reconcile us. So he wants us to repent. It's a call for repentance. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, your name once again. Yeah, I'm Deacon Francis Asari Amigabi. Um, yeah, yes, you can. Uh, I, I can give it up. Can give it up. Yeah. So my contact is zero five four one two two. I just follow in my spirit not to release it. I just follow in my spirit not to release it, and that um, when when we agree as a nation to repent of our sins, repent of our sins, um, then. Uh, he, he the, the same way he, he gave me, he was able to allow me to tap into the spirit, what is happening in the spiritual realm. He, the same way he can lead someone and they, they, they will get me. But one thing I want you to know as a brother, you yourself, sometimes we are, com we are communicating here, but I want to tell, tell you something. Um, if maybe you also have doubts about the resurrection power, the issue is that we have frequency and you tune in your radio. Okay, when you tune in, you just catch a frequency then you can listen to uh, some stations so if you have time with god in your secret place he will let you connect to what is happening in the spiritual realm so distance is not a barrier he is lord of all jesus is lord that is what he wants us to know and that he wants to wipe our tears and uh, that is revelation 21 verse 4 so that is it my, my brother Thank you, you're welcome